she knew a little about me. FBI agent Robert Hansen's betrayal. He started spying for the Russians in 1985. Is the greatest security breach in U.S. history. Breach. Ready PG-13 in theaters February 16th. Roma, Texas. In this dusty border town, a police unit overtakes a pickup jammed with seven illegal immigrants. Patrolman Mario Lujano tries to stop the people smuggler cold. I turned on my overheads. When he saw that, he just he just freaked out and he punched him. The chase is on. The international border is less than a mile away. <laughs> Suddenly, the driver rockets off the road and through an empty lot. Up ahead, the Rio Grande River. The dumbfounded patrolman can't believe what happens next. Drop the vehicle. Drop the vehicle. This guy opens up the door. He starts hanging out the vehicle. The vehicle's still rolling, and then he just hops up. And I'm just shocked at what I'm looking at. The driver bails from the truck at a speed of 30 miles an hour. The immigrants are trapped as the pickup plows through trees and into the water. I stopped, ran into the wood line, and I had noticed that the 20-foot drop that the vehicle had taken. I ran down, and there were seven people in there. They were making a lot of noise, trying to get out, pounding on the windows, pounding on, on everything. More police converge on the scene. There's enough manpower, but is there enough time? There was a rack that was covering the rear windshield. One of the illegals was trying to move the rack. I heard inside the vehicle, you know, we've got a child. We've got a child. I believe that's what gave me more strength to pull that rack completely off. An eight-year-old child and the rest of the group are pulled to safety. The coyote, who left them to die, also comes through without a scratch. He swims to safety in Mexico. We noticed him on the other side of the river just taunting us and uh, screaming obscenities. And just he just didn't think nothing, no, no, no respect for life. Uh, the guy took it in stride like I lost a load and see you guys later. It's a grim reminder that along the border, the quest for the American dream is often a matter of life and death. <laughs> 